welcome viewers to the third segment for the fourth lecture for the online series of lectures for the course of algebraic topology one in the previous segment we have seen that given a covering map uh, from the uh, uh, covering space e to the base topological space b and uh, uh, a path homotopy in B, uh, which is of course a map uh, from I cross I, a continuous map from I cross I to the to this base topological space B, uh, uh, which we denote by F, such that um, F of um, 0 comma 0 is equal to B0 we can find a lift of this this continuous map F in the covering space E F tilde with uh, F tilde of 0 comma 0 being equal to E E sub 0 and B P of E sub 0 is equal to B 0 so that this diagram commutes okay P composed with F tilde is equal to F so we constructed this F tilde inductively in the previous segment but we did not prove that the uh, F tilde constructed uh, uh, in this way is going to be the unique lift of uh, this path homotopy F in the base topological space B. So uh, the uniqueness of uh, such a lift F tilde follows from a more general result given as follows. So we, uh, we call it lemma 3 which says that if we have a covering map from the covering space E to the base topological space B, we let this B be a covering map and X be a topological space that is connected okay given any two continuous maps continuous maps f0 tilde F1 tilde from X to E such that P composed with F0 tilde is equal to P composed with F1 tilde which which we define as F. So here, from the definition of lift, we see that both F0 tilde and F1 tilde are lifts of F. Okay. If this is the case, then the set, set of all x in this topological space big X such that f tilde f0 tilde of x is equal to f1 tilde of x okay so it's the collection of all the points in the topological space on which these two lifts agree with each other so this set is going to be either 
empty or all of x okay so this is the more general result that will yield uh, the fact that the constructed lift f tilde is is indeed unique okay so let me draw a picture a, a diagram corresponding to this fact given by lemma 3 so um, here is this diagram so we have this uh, covering map from the covering space e to the base uh, topological space b we denote the covering map by p and there is this connected topological space x and if we have two maps f uh, so okay so here are the two maps f0 tilde and f1 tilde okay um, from x to e um, and here is the map f from x to b such that f is equal to p composed with f tilde so it implies that uh, you know um, p composed with f zero tilde it implies that f zero tilde is uh, is a lift of of f and f is also equal to p composed with f1 tilde and it says that f1 tilde is a lift of f as well okay and uh, and this theorem tells us that you know this these two lifts are essentially the same okay So let me erase uh, everything except for the diagram on the right. Okay. So now um, let us prove this lemma three. Since uh, the only subsets that are both only um, subsets that are both open and closed in a connected space okay. in a connected space are the whole set and the empty set are the whole set and the empty set okay so there is no such uh, non-trivial open and close subset in a connected space okay Uh, so that the only two possibilities are the are the whole set and the empty set okay um, uh, for for the, the both these sets are at the same time open and closed okay uh, the claim of the lemma above is equivalent to the following fact so this set uh, the set of elements of the topological space X for which these two um, these two um, lips agree uh, is 
both open and closed okay so it is sufficient to prove that the set is both open and closed okay so um, we'll first prove that it's closed uh, first prove that the closure of this set denoted by a bar um, over this set so it, it means that we have the closure of the underlying set and we want it to be equal to the set itself and only then the set is closed right So we, we, we have to prove it first, okay. Let we choose an element from, from the closure. Okay. Then I need to show that I also belongs here. I sorry, I need to show that Y also belongs here. Y belongs to this set. X belonging to X such that F tilde of X is equal to F1 tilde of X. Okay, so I need to prove this fact. Okay, that is, in other words, y, y is in x such that f0 tilde of y is equal to f1 tilde of y. This is what we need to do. Okay, proceed by contradiction. Let us proceed by contradiction assuming that they are unequal f0 tilde of y is unequal to f1 tilde of y okay for y in x Need some space let me erase the top part I don't need this diagram anymore um, so this is what we are assuming let also let X is equal to P composed with F0 tilde of Y Um, and um, and it is supposed to be equal to P composed with F1 tilde okay uh, P composed with F1 tilde of of Y right from the hypothesis of, of the underlying lemma so um, so consider an open subset u sub x containing X in B that is evenly covered by B. And we can always do so since P is a covering map, right? Now, since
p of f0 tilde of y is equal to p of f1 tilde of y is in u sub x, right? Because we have chosen x to be equal to these two guys, right? And since, you know, x is in u sub x trivially, then both of them should be in u sub x, okay? Which means that both f0 tilde of y and f1 tilde of y are in inverse image of u sub x under p. And since ux is evenly covered by p, this inverse image of ux under p can be decomposed into uh, disjoint slices, which are open sets in the covering space. where j is some index set okay okay we have gotten this far good now let v0 and v1 are the disjoint open slices containing containing f0 tilde of y and f1 tilde of y okay respectively meaning that uh, f0 tilde of y is contained in v0 and f1 tilde of y is contained in v1, okay? So this is what we are writing here, f0 tilde of y is contained in v0 and on the right side, f1 tilde of y is contained in v1, okay? So. Uh, uh, let us recall that F0 tilde is a map from from X to the uh, the total space, uh, sorry, uh, the, the covering space E, okay? And also the same is true for F1 tilde, right? Which is also a map from the topological space X to the covering space E. You know, the, the, this, this is a connected space. For y in x, d0 is a neighborhood, is a uh, neighborhood of F0 tilde of Y in A. That's right. And also for here, for Y in X, V1 is a neighborhood of F1 tilde of Y in the covering space E. Now we need a theorem given by use theorem 18.1 no, it, it falls from a property of continuous function okay uh, page number 104 of the same book by Montrace It's a property of continuous function. 
So by that theorem, one can write, one can therefore find, one can therefore find a neighborhood neighborhood W of Y in, in the topological space X such that F zero tilde of W is going to be contained in the neighborhood V zero in E and uh, F one tilde of W is contained in uh, the neighborhood V one in the covering space E. Just check that theorem on page number 104. And we, we can do it since both F0 tilde and F1 tilde are continuous maps. Okay, that is, in other words, uh, the intersection of these two sets F0 tilde of W and F1 tilde of W. Okay, the intersection of these two sets is empty. Why? Because V0 and V1 are disjoint. Okay? But since, remember that we assumed Y, we assume that Y belongs to the closure, right? X belonging to X such that F0 tilde of x is equal to f1 tilde of x the closure of this guy and we 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 suppose that uh, y belongs to this closure which means that uh, the inter uh, so if i take a neighborhood of y any neighborhood of y that is going to intersect intersect uh, the set this set so let me write it here but since y belongs to this closure so let me erase this since y belongs to this closure The neighborhood W of Y will intersect the set non-trivial. Intersect the set Which means that so what, what I am writing is that the intersection of W with with this set is non-empty. Okay, but this is in fact a contradiction. This guy is. is in fact in contradiction contradiction with um, um, with the fact that the, the intersection of these two sets is, is empty. Okay. 
so uh, th this tells us that well this tells us that f0 tilde of x can never be equal to f1 tilde of x for for n uh, for, for for any x in w okay which contradicts this statement okay uh, so so this is how we reach a contradiction so one can use analogous argument i leave it as an exercise do it by yourself by yourself okay so analogously one can show that every point of the set is is an interior point that that proves that this set is an open set so we have we thus prove that the the same set is both open and closed and we are done qed good all right now let us get back to the uniqueness issue of the lift f tilde that we constructed inductively okay it's the lift of the underlying homotopy in the base topological space okay um the lift uh, constructed in the proof of lemma 2 okay let us get back there if now if f tilde is another continuous map from i cross i to e the covering space which is which is also a lift of the same map f from i cross i to b with we also want f bar to satisfy this boundary condition f bar at this point 0 comma 0 is going to be the same starting point e e sub 0 okay then one immediately finds finds that the set x comma y in i cross i such that f tilde of x comma y is equal to f bar of x comma y contains 0 0 okay because they both agree on 0 comma 0 and we also so we already constructed f tilde and f tilde at 0 0 is the same point e sub 0 okay so they both agree so uh, so which means that 0 comma 0 this this point this 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 ordered pair is in this set right so and 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 hence this guy this set is not empty right so therefore by lemma 3 it has to be the whole set therefore by lemma 3 F and F 
bar, this guy, this set has to be the whole set, meaning that F and F bar agree with each other on the whole of I cross I. which proves the uniqueness of the, the lift. Okay. Good. Now, let us try to prove that if F is a path homotopy, then so is F tilde. Okay. So, let me erase everything. Okay. Let us... prove that if big F is a path homotopy homotopy between P composed with G tilde and T composed with H tilde in B then F tilde is a path homotopy between G tilde and H tilde in E, okay, in the covering space E. So this is what we need to prove. Again, we draw this picture, this diagram. Um, the covering map is from E to B, which we denote by P. And there are uh, two paths, which are uh, path homotopic in the uh, covering space E, which we denote by G tilde and H tilde, okay, and they are path homotopic, and uh, so th th these are, these are lips of, of this two maps, right, P composed with G tilde and P composed with H tilde. So G tilde is, is the lift of P composed with G tilde and H tilde is the lift of P composed with H tilde, right? So we need to prove that. Okay, so uh, we need to prove that they are path homotopic G tilde and H tilde are path homotopic given the fact that B composed with given the fact that P composed with G tilde is path homotopic to P composed with H tilde in the topological space B. So this is given. And this needs to be proved. Okay. Okay. So since we are assuming that the underlying path homotopy here is F. Okay. So from the definition of path homotopy, we know that F of S comma zero is P composed with G tilde, that's um, one path, this, this map evaluated at S and at 1 is going to be equal to P composed with H tilde at S, the other path, okay. Now we see that F0 comma T is equal to P composed with G tilde at zero we which 
a which we call v0 okay a point in the base topological space and it is supposed to be the the initial point of the other path decomposed with h tilde evaluated at zero okay this is our equation number 10 and um, f of 1 comma t is equal to the final point of both these paths right the final point of p composed with g tilde which is equal to the the final point of p composed with h tilde and we define the 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 point to be equal to b1 okay this is our equation number 11 so we the, these data read off uh, from the definition of path motor here p composed with g tilde and p composed with h tilde are two paths that are path homotopic that are path homotopic um, beginning at B0 and ending at B1 okay good now now the claim is the following the claim is that the the unique we also proved the uniqueness earlier right a while ago the unique continuous map f tilde from i cross i to the covering space e constructed earlier is a path homotopy between these two paths g tilde and h tilde in the covering space e so that is the goal we need to prove this okay now let me erase this front part um, uh, we recall that uh, the map f tilde was defined as f tilde was defined as f tilde is equal to be restricted to v0 the slice v0 is a homeomorphism so that we take the inverse of that guy opposed with big F. Okay, this is how we define the F tilde. Hence, F tilde of S comma zero is going to be equal to P restricted to V zero inverse of f of s comma zero right and uh, we, we earlier seen that f of s comma zero is uh, p composed p composed with g tilde at s right since f is a path homotopy between uh, p composed with g tilde and p composed with h tilde 
So this can can be rewritten as p composed uh, sorry p restricted to v zero inverse composed with p of so p com p restricted to v zero inverse of p of g tilde of s. Okay. Okay. And you know uh, uh, p p restricted to v0 inverse composed with p is just the identity map so this is just g tilde of s okay so we have seen that f tilde of s comma 0 is g tilde of s indeed f tilde of s comma 0 equal to g tilde of s is the lift of f of s comma zero equal to p composed with g tilde evaluated at s okay and this is guaranteed by lemma one this is the unique lift guaranteed by lemma one okay good now now also f tilde of s comma one is p restricted to v zero inverse of f of s comma 1 and from earlier argument we we see that this is nothing but v p restricted to v0 inverse of of p of h tilde of s And uh, again, uh, p restricted to v zero restricted to v zero inverse composed with p is just the identity map. So this is equal to h tilde of s. Okay. Good. Um, here again, um, f tilde of s comma one which which is equal to h tilde of s is the unique lift of of f of s comma 1 which is the same as uh, from the previous argument, we have seen that it's the same as p composed with h tilde uh, evaluated at s. Okay, as corrobor as uh, confirmed uh, corroborated by lemma one. Okay, so we have seen in equation number 10 that f of 0 cross i, okay, sorry, 
yeah, f of 0 cross i is, is, f of 0 cross i, so what was equation number 10, let me write it here, f of 0 comma t was equal to uh, p composed with g tilde evaluated at 0 and this is equal to b0 which in turn is equal to p composed with e h tilde um, at 0. This is our equation number 10. I'm rewriting it for your convenience. And we, 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 we see that this is nothing but f of 0 cross i as the image of this set, right? Under f is nothing but the single point set p0, okay? Because this is, this is going to be true for all t in the unit interval from 0 to 1. So, this is another way of writing that fact. Okay, so it means that f tilde of 0 cross i is the, 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 the set of the inverse image of v sub 0. So just use the lifting property that p composed with f tilde is equal to f, right? p composed with f tilde is equal to f. All right. Now, an important thing to note here is that, so let me erase this part, that this, this set, this set has the discrete topology. We, we proved it in, in earlier lecture. This set has the discrete topology. Okay. As a subspace of E. covering space okay now since so let us focus on the left side here since 0 cross i which is the left hand side of the rectangle i cross i since 0 cross i is connected and f tilde is continuous so from uh, from the concept of uh, points of topology we know that f tilde of 0 cross i is connected as well, right? And thus must be a single time, right? So it cannot have two elements. This set cannot have two elements because if if there are two elements in this set they will be spread out on to you know to different components of this of this set because it's equipped with the discrete topology okay and each you know e each component of, of this topological space is uh, consists of a single time. Okay. 
Okay. Mm. Similarly, using similar argument, one can show that f tilde of 1 cross i must also be a 1 point set. In fact, f tilde of 0 comma t is equal to p restricted to v sub 0 inverse of f of 0 t is equal to P restricted to P sub 0 inverse of P of G tilde of 0 is equal to P restricted to V sub 0 inverse I think I made a mistake here Of f of 0 comma t yeah it, it, they're the same right it falls from equation number one uh, number 11 from 11 so um, so I'm just replacing f of 0 comma t with p of g uh, p of g tilde of 0 and also this guy is equal to p of h tilde of 0. Okay. So this is nothing but g tilde of 0 is um, g tilde of 0 and it's also equal to h tilde of 0 and we know that g tilde and h tilde are the unique lifts corresponding to p composed with g tilde and p composed with h tilde respectively right and and therefore they both begin at the point e0 so that p of e0 is equal to b0 that which is which was the statement of lemma 1 right so they are both equal to they both the, the both the lifts a g tilde and h tilde start at e0 okay this is what we have seen this guy is the same as um, as these things. Also, f tilde of one comma t is equal to p restricted to v sub zero inverse of p of g tilde of one, and also. So this this actually follows from 10 not 11 now we, we are now applying 11 equation 11 this follows from equation 11 so p of g tilde of 1 and which is the same of p restricted to v0 inverse of inverse of p of h tilde of 1 okay All right, and uh, so it's nothing but g tilde of one uh, 
and uh, you know h tilde of one uh, we did we denote it with no we did not so we 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 denote these two endpoints of the lets with e1 okay let us do that okay all right good here we immediately see that g tilde and h tilde the lips of p composed with g tilde and p composed with h tilde okay are path homotopic path homotopic paths in E both starting at E0 and ending at E1, okay? All right. We have gotten this far. Now, P composed with G tilde at 0 is equal to P composed with P, P of G tilde of 0 um, which is P of uh, E0 and we know that P of E0 is B0 and And uh, P composed with G tilde of 1 is equal to P of G, G tilde of 1 is equal to P of E E one, okay. P of E one, which is equal to B one. Right. Th this is what we have found. Right. Okay, um, so using lemma 1 and lemma 2, we now have the following theorem. Using lemma 1. And lemma we now have the following theorem theorem one let P from E to B be 
a covering map. Let P of E0 is equal to B0. Let F and G be two paths. In B, from B0 to B1, so which means that F of 0 is equal to G of 0 is equal to B0, and F of 1 is equal to G of 1 is equal to B1, okay? Let F bar and G bar be their respective unique liftings unique liftings to paths in P beginning at E0 okay uh, which which is uh, sort of guaranteed by which which is guaranteed by lemma 1 unique liftings to paths in E beginning at E0 is guaranteed by lemma 1 so now if f and g are path homotopic homotopic then F bar and G bar end at the same point this is what we have shown the end point being e1 right and at the same point e1 in the covering space e with e of e1 being equal to B1 okay and F bar and G bar are path homotopic we have just proved earlier F bar and G bar are path homotopic in E right Um, 
a topic. Okay. All right. So we're done with the proof of theorem one. Now we'll take a break here, and uh, and in the next segment, we'll define lifting correspondence, and and uh, you know we'll have certain results corresponding to uh, the lifting correspondence. Thank you for this segment.